everybody, welcome to Cake Tastic Cakes. It's Jen, and I'm going to give you a quick little fly through of my patriotic American flag cake that I made. And if you see me using any tools or supplies you could use in this video, check the link in the description below, which should be able to help you out. Now, to begin my cake, I have just vanilla cake. I'm going to be filling it with strawberry mousse, so, real quick, I'm just going to show you a little dam I made. I piped the dam using some buttercream icing and then fill it with my strawberry mousse on the inside. Stack up my cakes. Now I'm going to give them a quick coating here. And since I am going to cover them in fondant, I'm just going to do a really thick crumb coating. So I've got a ton of icing on there, as you can see. And I'm just trying to make it a little bit neater. <laughs> so yeah, stick it in the fridge, right? Always goes back in the fridge. Same thing with my top tier. I had it filled, I had it iced, cleaned up the edges, stick it in the fridge. I've got some white fondant here, and I am using fondant, and I use it with Crisco. I don't put powdered sugar or cornstarch down on the counter. It's just what I do. I like the vegetable shortening. Keeps a little softer for drying out, you know, for me. Uh, lay it over my cake, and then smooth it out. And when I smooth it out, I kind of pull down, uh, pull out, I should say, on the bottom, and then go from the top down, kind of like flaring out the skirt of it a little bit. So that way I try to avoid as many of those little ridges and folds and wrinkles that can form on the sides as possible. So using my pizza cutter, I'm gonna cut off the extra. And once I get it off, my first tier is gonna be basically done. There you go. I'm gonna add some wooden dowels in it just so that I have some nice support. I know some people use those plastic straws. If this was gonna be like a really big heavy cake, I probably would use the plastic locking tiers, but this is what I'm using for this one. Just some wooden dowels, trim off the extra. There you go. Here's my second tier, doing the same thing as before, just covering it up with some fondant to make it look nice and pretty. Doesn't that look nice? Yes. Just fold it out, flare it out, try to get those little wrinkles out as best I can. And hopefully those little wrinkles form on the bottom enough when I cut it off. Oh yes, they're gone. I'll smooth it up stack it up. I'm going to put a little bit of icing on top of my first tier, just more of the same buttercream icing, and then put my other cake right on top. And now I'm going to give you the fly through on how I did the flag decoration. This is just some brown fondant. I was using fondant for this, not gum paste, which I normally would use, and I did not add any CMC powder or Tylose powder to it. I rolled it out nice and even and long as you can see and then I fold it in half and just started twisting and this is going to give me the corded rope or you know braided rope effect. Um, I did it just nice and long. I ended up ripping a little bit right there but that's okay. Just patch it back together and I am going to have the flag draping down the one side of the cake so I'm not too worried honestly about you know a little flaw here and there. Make some more for the bottom just like that. It's a little short so I made another little extra piece and just worked it on in together. Now for the flag, I used again fondant. I rolled out some blue. I'm gonna give myself a square out of it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing basically, except this time I'm gonna make myself rectangles. I rolled out my red, trying to make it the same thickness as the blue. And I just rolled out a bunch of stripes, again, using my pizza cutter or my fondant cutter, if you want. And I rolled a bunch of them. I know I don't need that many, but I rolled a bunch out anyway. Now I have some white fondant. I put the blue down in the corner. Uh, it's overlapping the edge and then I start laying down my stripes and I realize now that my stripes are a little off kilter so please forgive me. However, it still came out with a really nice effect I think. So I just laid them down, trimmed off the extra. I used a star cutter to make impressions in the blue and then I took my rolling pin and I rolled over everything. So now I've kind of smashed all the red and blue into the white underneath of it. I'm going to trim off the extra again. And then I'm going to take my whole entire flag there and just lay it, drape it over my cake. I'm trying to wrinkle it up and make it a little more flowing and majestic-y looking rather than just, you know, like a sack thrown on the side of a cake. The one edge of the blue is sticking out a little further than I wanted because I wanted to put some more cord on there. So I trimmed it off, added some water, took some more of that twisted up cord that I made. And just kind of draped it along the blue part. I didn't go all the way down the one side or the other. I just did along the blue a little bit. I took the extra there and just twisted it up till it looked kind of like a knot. I have the little dangly pieces that I'm cutting up into more of a tassel shape. I thought it could use a little bit more, so I took another piece and just tasseled it up and squished it on in there and stuck it on the cake. Took a little piece of yellow fondant, made it look like a wrap. 
there you go american cake nice and proud and patriotic so i hope you found this video helpful please like and subscribe because it really does help me out as well i've got a ton of other videos out there so please take a look and as always thank you for watching cake tastic cakes